hey, thanks so much for joining me for this week's Faith Life. I want to talk to you about boundaries for just a second, but from a slightly different angle. In John chapter 10, verse 10, Jesus says that the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But I came that you have, may have life and have it more abundantly. Now, obviously, the thief that he was referring to was Lucifer, Satan himself, that wants to come and still kill, destroy, take from us, and manipulate us, accuse us, deceive us, tempt us. He hates us. In John 12, Jesus said, now it's the time for judgment. Now the time is, is going to happen that the prince of this world or the prince of the air is going to be driven out. He was prophetically referring to his death on the cross and what would take place when he died. In Colossians 2.15, it says, having disarmed the principalities and powers, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. When Jesus went to the cross, that place of ultimate surrender and ultimate sacrifice for us, it was also the place of ultimate victory, the place that truly the enemy was defeated. The principalities and powers were disarmed there. Their ammunition against us was removed. Their ability to destroy us was taken away. In 1 John chapter 4, verse 4, we're told, greater is the spirit that is in us than the spirit that is in the world. Jesus came to a place where people needed to be liberated. Through the cross, he defeated our enemy. He moved into our lives through the presence of the Holy Spirit, and he's promised us that greater is the spirit that's in us. What does this have to do with boundaries? Even though everything that I've explained is theologically accurate and it makes a decent faith life, if we don't apply it, it's not going to make any difference at all. Because the enemy understands theologically what Jesus did. He knows that he doesn't have authority against you. He knows that the Spirit of God in you is stronger than anything that he can muster. Anything that he carries. He knows that. But it doesn't stop him from pushing the boundaries to bring sickness, temptation, deception, accusation. He constantly will bring a, a stronghold against you to push against the boundaries that have already been established. It's up to you to enforce them, to enforce the law, to use the voice that God has given you and to speak against the enemy of your soul. It's up to you to say no. The Lord rebuke you. Christ is in me. That is the hope of glory. You can't touch me any longer. Take your accusations and flee from me. Get your hands off of my family. All of those things, it's up to you to enforce it. I think sometimes as Christians, we think that because the enemy shouldn't, that he won't. It's just not the case. He shouldn't break God's laws. He shouldn't do the things that he does, but he does them. He crosses the boundaries. Fortify your border by speaking words of faith against him and living the faith life that you've already been empowered to live. God bless you as you walk in victory in your faith life.